Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doombreaker again and I'm here with another video for you guys. So today we are going to go back to the old days and jump into some Visual Basic. A lot of you seem to like Visual Basic, so why not bring it back, right? I was kind of running out of ideas for Visual Basic, but I scrolled through my old projects from when I was learning VB and uh, I stumbled upon this thing. So this program reads information about the user's computer and displays it on screen. So let's try it out right now. So we have this form here. We press get info and it shows us the computer name, the username, OS name, caps lock, all that kind of stuff. Probably going to blur some of that out. <laughs> and we can also clear it, but that's some basic stuff. So if we take a look at the code, you can see this, which is uh, to make the text box is uh, empty again, but you can ignore that because, you know, it's basic. And then we have here all this. So it looks pretty easy and it is pretty easy. So it's just assigning the value of a text box to the value of some information that is on your computer. And Visual Basic already knows where to get this as long as you know or as long as you tell it where or what you want to have. So um, to give an example, we are going to make a variable called info. We're going to make it a string and it is going to be my. So it always starts with my. And now we have some like things we can do. So let's take user, for example. You can get the username, which we did here. You can also uh, say is authenticated and current principal. I don't really know what that is, but I might guess is that current principle if is it uh, is if the user is an administrator or not and is authenticated is just um, when the user is logged in or not but I'm not sure about that you can try it out if you want to then you also have computer and this is the most interesting one so you have all these kind of things uh, you have audio clipboard screen all that stuff uh, so let's try clipboard and then we have a lot of functions, so we can set text to the clipboard, we can set an image to the clipboard, you can clear the clipboard if you want to, but we are going to say get text. And then we are going to say message box dot show open brackets info. So if this works correctly, it should display the text that is on my clipboard. So let's change that right now to my dot computer dot clipboard dot get text so let's copy that if we debug the program get info you can see a message box appear that says my dot computer dot clipboard dot get text which is the text that we just copied if you are not um, well if you think I'm lying <laughs> let's do this again with my.computer.keyboard.capslock, get info, bam, there you go, my.computer.keyboard.capslock. It's just that easy. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked the video, please click the like button below. Also, if you like my stuff, consider subscribing to my channel because I put out uh, programming videos, gaming videos, and all that geeky awesomeness um, on a regular basis now. Also go to my website and my forum, which is going to be linked in the description. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye.